Welcome to our YouTube channel na Solving Math with Lunalyn. Now, let's answer question from random post at ito ay nakapost sa isa sa ating FB group na lagi nating tinatambayan. Sarah went to shopping. She planned to use her whole 13th month salary for that. One-fifth of the salary was spent for shirts. One-fourth of the remaining was used for his for her cosmetics and one-third for her foods. If one-half of the remaining amount was spent for Christmas gift and still have 600 pesos to spend, ang tanong how much is her total monthly salary? Pero bago ang lahat para sa mga first time pa sa channel ko, ito yung FP natin na huwag na kayo mag-PM dyan kasi tambak na yung mga messages. Kung mayroon kayong concern, dito na lang kayo mag-message sa Free Reviewers Manage by Leonalyn. At kung naghanap ka naman kayo ng mga libreng printable na reviewers, direkta na lang kayong pumunta sa file sa FB Group na to na Philippine Civil, Serv Civil Service Review for All. At ito naman yung iba pang mga FB Groups na lagi nating tinatambayan. Now, paano nga ba ito sagutan? Itong mga ganitong klaseng problem, hindi ito pwedeng i-trial and error. Kasi pwede kang mag-identify ng 1,000, 1,001, 1,002, or 1,002 na may 25. Yung mga ganyan, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-trial and error dito. Basahin natin ulit yung problem. Sarah went to shopping and she planned to use her whole 13-month salary for that. One-fifth of the salary was spent for shirts. Now, ang gagawin natin ay mag-identify tayo ng isang variable para sa mismong monthly, yung 13th month salary niya. So, let N or A, B, C, X, Y kung anong variables ang gusto niyo. One-fifth of the salary was spent for shirts. So, one-fifth of N na spent niya for shirts. By the way, maliban na lang kung meron tayong mga choices. So, doon tayo sa mga choices mag-base. So, anyway, one-fourth of the remaining. Anong ibig sabihin ng remaining? Yung natitira. Yung one-fifth kasi nagamit sa shirt. Ilan ba yung natira sa one-fifth? So, yung kabuan minus one-fifth. So, para ma-minus natin yan, itong one ay gawin nating five over five para pariho yung denominator nila. Bali, naghanap lang tayo ng least common denominator. Kasi itong five over five, that is equal to one. Nakopyahin yung denominator na five, ang numerator, five minus one, and that is Four. So, yan yung remaining. Now, one-fourth, one-fourth of multiplication yan siya. One-fourth of four over five. Kasi yan yung remaining. One-fourth of four over five sa mismong entire na salary niya ginamit niya for cosmetics. So, this is cosmetics. Ngayon, isolve natin to. One-fourth of four over five. Nagamit niya yan for cosmetics. I-multiply lang natin to. Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator, and this is four over twenty. Now, i-list natin yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 4. So, 4 divided by 4, and that is 1. 20 divided by 4, and that is 5. So, therefore, 1 fifth lang din pala itong sa cosmetics. So, this is 1 fifth of N na gamit niya sa cosmetics. Para klaro lang. Maghati tayo ng lima dito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ito yung 1 fifth. 
yung remaining. Yan ay four fifth. Now, one fourth of five over five, uh, four over five, ang sagot ay one fifth. Di ba dito? Yung one fourth yan apat lang din naman yan. Ito yung one fourth. Yung one fourth dito sa remaining ay equivalent din yan sa one fifth. Kasi nga, di ba lahat yan ay one fifth. Kung dito lang tayo mag-focus sa apat, one fourth. Pero kung include na natin yan, ang value niya ay one fifth. Kaya one fifth ang nagamit niya para sa cosmetics. Next. I erase muna natin ito para may space tayo sa pag-solve. So, iniisa-isa natin yung pag-solve. Ngayon, dito naman tayo sa and one-third of her foods. Dapat may tuldok dyan. Itong one-third, nasaan kaya yan? Yung mismong, yung entire na salary ba? Or mismong remaining? Basahin natin ulit dito ha. One-fourth of the remaining was used for her cosmetic, cosmetics and one-third for her foods. Ibig sabihin, yung one-third na yan dun sa remaining. Remaining dito sa unang one-third na naspent niya for shirts. So, therefore, one-third of one-third of Yung 4 over 5 ulit. Bakit 4 over 5 yan? Kasi yung remaining. So, 1, one third of 4 over 5 sa kabuan, yan yung binili niya para sa, saan na yun? Foods. So, isolve natin yan. 1 third ang of multiplication, 4 over 5 sa kabuan. Multiplication of fraction. So, sa taas, 1 times 4 and that is 4. 3 times 5 and that is 15. So, therefore, yung spent niya sa food ay 4 over 15 sa kabuuan. So, isulat natin yan dito. We have 4 over 15 sa kabuuan. Again, let N para sa mismong 13, yung buong 13 month salary niya. At ito ay na-spend niya sa foods. Now, if one half of the remaining, may remaining ulit. So, i-add muna natin itong tatlo. So, kailangan muna natin i-add yan. Yung mga fractions na yan. One-third, ay one-fifth plus isa pang one-fifth plus four over fifteen ng kabuuan. Then, ito ay, hanapan natin ang least common denominator. So, ang least common denominator nito ay 15. By the way, para sa detalye kung paano hanapin yung least common den denominator, pwede nyo i-search LCD at dugtungan lang ng yunalin para mas madaling mahanap yung mga dati na nating na-upload kung paano hanapin yung least common denominator. So, this is 3. Then, this is 3 over 15. In other words, yung 3 over 15, equivalent yan sa 1 fifth. Then, this is, kopyahin lang si 4 over 15. Now, pwede na natin yung i-add. Kopyahin yung denominator na 15, yung mga numerators natin, six, uh, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4, and that is 10. I-list natin yan by finding the greatest common factor. At marami na tayong na-upload kung paano hanapin yung greatest common factor. Pwede nyo i-search, G, C, F, idugtong lang yung lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na natin na-upload regarding sa greatest common factor. Ang greatest common factor dito ay 5. So, 10 divided by 5 and that is 2. 15 divided by 5 and that is 3. So, 2 thirds sa kabuhuan. Again. Itong lahat ng yan, yan ay equivalent sa two-third sa kabuang salary niya. 
itong 13th month salary. Now, kung yan ay two-third, ang remaining naman na tinutukoy dito, 1 minus 2 over 3. Hanapan natin ang least common denominator which is 3. So therefore, yung value ni 1 dito ay 3 over 3 para pariho sila ng denominator. Kopyahin si 3 na denominator yung mga numerators natin, 3 minus 2, and that is 1. Yung 1 third sa kabuuan, yan na yung tinutukoy ditong remaining. Okay, ngayon, 1 half of the remaining, therefore, 1 half of 1 third sa kabuuan salary. 1 half. Ang of multiplication, one-third. Multiplication of fraction, one times one and that is one. Two times three and that is six. So, one-six sa kabuan ay nispent niya sa Christmas gift. Now, since itong one-half of one-third, yung one-half na yan of one-third ay one-six yan sa kabuan. Remember, na yung one-half, ibig sabihin, yung isa pang kalahati, yung natira, is still have 600 pesos to spend. Ibig sabihin, yung isang one-half ay 600. So, therefore, yung 600, yan yung one-six sa kabuuan. So, ganito ang gagawin natin. 600 is one-six of uh, of n lagay na lang natin na n kasi yung n na yan yan yung mismong entire niyang 13th month salary so ganito lang yan ito na yon mas solve na natin yung value ni n ang 600 kopyahin natin ang is equal yan siya si 1 6 ang of multiplication at saka si n itong 1 6 times n pareho lang yan sa n over 6. Now, para makuha natin yung value ni n, since si 6 ay pang divide sa n, pang multiply na ngayon yan sa 600. Now, 600 times 6, and this is 3,600. Yan na yung sagot sa problem na ito. Now, let's double check kung tama ba itong 3,600 natin. So, sa double checking, gamitin natin itong 3,600. Sa shirt, one-fifth of 3,600, that is 720. One-fifth ulit sa cosmetics naman of 3,600. Again, this is 720. 4 over 15 of 3,600. This is 960. Now, kung i-add natin ito, this will give us 2,400. Now, di ba yung sagot natin ay 3,600. I-minus natin si 2,400. And this is 1,200. Remember, one half of the remaining was spent for Christmas gift. And, and still have 600. I-divide nga natin itong 1,200 by 2. Kasi one half. And that is exactly 600. Therefore, ang sagot na 3,600 Ay tama. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.